So you take the movies to get motivated and write scripts in your trailer for the other movies. It's sort of the acting feeds And the great that. thing is, you know, acting in a, in a Hollywood film, the pay is a hell of a lot better <laughs> than your indie film career. So I'm blessed that I can jump back and forth between both. Did you um, go out on the ledge? Did you go for that sort of visceral adrenaline rush? I, I did. On day one, you know, the stunt coordinator said, hey, you know, do you want to step out there? Uh, so threw the harness on. And, you know, while you know that you're completely safe and nothing is going to happen, your instincts tell you otherwise. And um, it really, uh, mentally or rationally, it is not terrifying. However, whatever is going on internally, your body is is locking up on you and telling you, hey, this is not where we're supposed to be. Like your knees shaking, oh, that kind of thing. Your knees shake, your heart, yeah. your cotton mouth, you know. I think it was a great choice on their part to uh, not do those sequences just on a sound stage with a green screen, but to actually use that practical location. Because I think when you see there are certain scenes with Sam and also Elizabeth when she steps out on there, well, you can tell. Like There's a shortness of breath that while it can be manufactured on a sound stage, uh, you can see when they're really up there doing it, and it lends such authenticity to those moments. I think that's why the audience is really on the edge of their seat, because it's like, it, it feels real because it is real. Was there anything, do you, do you learn, like, one of the things I really love is that shot when Sam first steps out. And every time I've seen it, I still keep trying to think, how did they do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, do you, do you, I mean, are you constantly sort of, I mean, because I think that would be a fun way to sort of... It's, look, I got so lucky. The first acting job I had that wasn't in one of my films was Saving Private Ryan. So I got to go to graduate skill, film school and watch Steven Spielberg work for, you know, 60 days. Um, and every film I've done since then, I've kind of made that my objective. So... To get to watch Asger and, and Paul, the DP, and really look at, you know, uh, shot selection, how they sequence, um, what kind of cameras and lenses they were using um, was fascinating. Um, and I always try and do that. And also try and look at, you know, um, try and learn from the actors I'm working with. You know, I mean, I loved working with Sam and Elizabeth, and both of them have such a, like, a great work ethic. Uh, that you you know you you feed off of that stuff and then you you take some of that to your next project. Well, that's interesting because there's such a great ensemble, but not everyone really gets to work together. There's yeah. sort of like Jamie and Genesis over here in a completely sort of separate you know oh, like very, a whole separate movie. Yeah, like yeah. a Mission Impossible sort of thing going on, and it's but um, somehow you're on the edge of your seat the whole time. Yeah. Um, and what's next for you after this? Uh, so next to this, I am doing a show for HBO called 40. That is Doug Allen who created Entourage. It's his next show. And, um, if all goes well, I think we're supposed to start shooting in April or May. And then I guess it comes on in August or something. Like it's that. like HBO? Or something? It's for HBO. Yeah. It's an nice. HBO half hour comedy, uh, about, um, three childhood friends, uh, all from Long Island, who are now uh, in their 40s, but they're impending midlife crises mm -hmm. on the horizon. And it's a look at, you know, um, guys that age who are married with kids, and some of us are dealing with, um, you know, some financial crisis, some are dealing with marital crisis, some are dealing with, um, you know, like I said, the, mid the midlife crisis. Oh my God, I'm in my 40s. But it's Doug, and it's his writing, so it's, I mean, it's sharp, and it's funny, and it bristles, and it's going to be a great series. Uh, New York? And it shoots in New York. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, it was like, all right, HBO, shoots in New York, right. Doug Ellen, right. I'm in. Sounds like the male answer to Sex in the City or something in some ways. Not in that, but like with four guys together. Yeah, I think we're having so... a lot less sex in there. Yeah, that's unfortunate, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. All right, cool. All right.